So the other day on Twitter, Kanye West was pitching Mark Zuckerberg on his idea. And I just want to break this down for you guys because unfortunately I see a lot of people make all the same mistakes that Kanye West was making. And a lot of young people out there, they look up to these rappers and superstars out there and sports stars and they think that because they're famous and they got clout that they're really good at business and they know how to do things. And the fact of the matter is that Kanye blew this deal left, right, and center, and I'm gonna break it down for you guys where he messed up and how you can fix that going forward so you don't make these same mistakes, right? I'm gonna tell you what I think Kanye should have done instead as well. So number one is, a few days before, he disclosed that he was $53 million in debt, all right? So number one is, don't disclose publicly that you're all that in debt, all right? And then he was asking for everybody's sympathy. Number two is, that is not an attractive thing for any investor. If you're $53 million in debt, investors do not like to see that. That is a huge red flag. So you're kind of digging yourself a hole right there. Number three is, don't ask for people's sympathy, especially if you've had lots of cash flow. No one, no one's gonna feel bad for you, okay, man? No one cares. He's gone out there, he's produced a lot of albums made a lot of records I'm sure he's had some pretty decent cash flow so for him to be 53 million dollars in debt shows that number one he's not good at managing his money or number two he's really poor at investing it into business ventures all right both on both fronts that is not a good thing for an investor to see all right so that's number one so I'm not saying that you don't disclose that because when you have investors you should be open and honest with them and I would actually in investing, when it, when dealing with those investors, I would disclose that right up front, saying, "Hey, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm 53 million dollars in debt. All right, and and I just want to be honest with you. And I've learned these lessons from it. And this is why I got into debt. And I made these business decisions. They're poor. I learned a lot going from forward from it. And these are the mistakes I made. But hey, I just want to be honest with you right from the get go. People respect that a lot more. It's a lot more effective in getting a deal done. But don't go and disclose it to everybody in the public." asking for their sympathy because no one cares. Don't give them that sob story, all right? So then number two is he went and tried to contact Mark Zuckerberg on Twitter. Well, apparently Mark Zuckerberg doesn't really have a Twitter account and doesn't use Twitter. So that's another big error. So people ask me all the time, you know, what is the best way to communicate with people these days? Is it cell phone? Is it email? Is it Twitter? Is it LinkedIn? Is it Facebook? What is the best way? And the answer is, the way that the, the answer is whatever that person uses the most, right? And uses to communicate with people. So whatever that is, whether it's Facebook or text message or whatever it may be, it doesn't really matter. You just gotta figure out what they like to use and communicate with them to get the deal done that way, okay? So that is number two, and you gotta do a little research on that. Find out what kind of, uh, how this person likes to communicate, and in the beginning, if you don't know, you gotta communicate to them on all those different levels that you can just to get the guy's attention and figure out which way he's gonna respond to you, okay? So that is number two, and then his pitch, was abominable, right? He said, hey, Mark Zuckerberg, give Kanye West $1 billion. And I'm paraphrasing there, but he, that's basically what he said. He said, give me $1 billion, right? And then he kind of went on and he, he was kind of doing sob story stuff again. All right, so he made all kinds of errors right here. Number one, that's a horrible pitch. Like that, if someone was walking down the street with, with you or to you and they said, hey, Give me $500 million. They're just like, that's it. We're straight out of the blue. Would you want to pitch that? Would you want to give that guy $500 million, right? The answer would be no, because you have no idea what he's talking about, what his ideas are. You haven't had that person build up any value, so it's it's useless. You know, this is like, guys, this is like you going to a girl being like, please give it, go on a date with me. If I, you don't go on a date with me, I'm going to kill myself. Help me. My life is never going to be the same. That girl is going to be creeped out. She's not going to want anything to do with you. And it's just going to be a complete blown deal. This is more or less what Kanye is doing here, right? Because he's gone on this whole sympathy thing. And then he's just like, please, everybody, please help me out. And he's trying to, to pull all these 
strings because right now he's desperate, right? And just like I was pointing out with that desperate guy trying to ask that girl out, it's not a good look. It, it, there's fear in the water and it's just not good. Investors do not like that. So how would I handle this? Well, number one is I wouldn't disclose that publicly that I was $53 million in debt. In the actual pitch, I would come out straight from the get-go, let them know what was going on with that and tell them what I've learned from that. Number two, the actual pitch, when I pitch them, I would I would go in and I and I'd find out what type of communication Mark Zuckerberg likes to use. I'm sure Kanye could figure that out through his connections or whatever it may be, right? And then I'd say, hey Mark, do you want to get involved in an epic project? Or hey Mark, do you want to? Uh, I got an idea to change the world. Do you want to know it? Or like hit me up. I got an epic idea, right? Something like that. Especially, I, I really like the, the the hook on that. I would go with asking the question more than anything. I'm kind of thinking out loud right there with those pitches, right? I'd say, hey Mark, I got an epic idea. Do you want to hear it, or you want to be part of an epic project, right? And just ask him a question like that, right? And, and by doing that, he's going to have to respond, right? Or he's going to be at least really intrigued to respond if he's using it, right? And then hit me up, right? And do it like that. So he's not just being like, give me a billion dollars, right? There's no value creation or anything added in there. They, they, he has no idea. There's no real reason for Mark to reach out to him from that, right? So just go in and really try to hook him with the question. Try to get him involved and really take things to the next level that way. So that is how I would handle that pitch. And then lastly, you know, one time I saw Kanye West was asked, you know, what books does he read? What are his favorite, favorite books? What kind of books is he reading? And he very arrogantly and smugly thought it was really cool that he didn't read books. And the, the fact of the matter is always educate yourself. He's clearly not educated himself on how to manage money, how to run businesses, and how to pitch people effectively. That would help you, him out big time and it'll help you out from looking like a fool like Kanye. Don't be a Kanye. Learn. You're watching this video so you can learn from some of those mistakes he made but go out there and continuously educate yourself and don't think it's cool that you don't read books and don't educate yourself. So this is Kerry Sullivan with another How to Kick Ass in Sales.com tip of the day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.